Okay, so this is our mechanical arts building. Um, this is where a lot of our ag classes are, a few vet tech classes are here, as well as machine tooling and welding. Um, this is really the house for our ag agricultural department and our welding department. Um, we have a couple classrooms that you'll be in. Um, we limit those classes to about 30, 35 students, so you won't have more than that in your classrooms. And then um, we also have several labs that we will show you as well. Okay, uh, this is our machine tooling shop. Um, every welding student is required to take one machine tooling class and every machine tooling student is required to take one welding class. So you get a little bit of both. But one of those classes are, is hand work. And so each student gets their own vice and their own materials that they work with. Um, also another option for those students is to take um, one of these classes. And what they do is they start off with material and then work their way to the several different tools that they will need in the field. Um, as you can tell, the shop is very clean and it, it is always this clean. Um, so at the end of each class, each student is responsible for cleaning up their own area as well as maintaining the cleanliness and safety of the shop as well. So this is our awards case that showcases the works and successes of our students in our Act Department and our Welding Department. Um, one of our most successful clubs here on campus is our Skills USA Club. Um, so we have two welding shops here. Um, one has 16 booths and the other one has 15 booths. So uh, for your welding classes, you won't have more than 16 people in there. Um, each person gets their own booth, their own equipment. Uh, no sharing is allowed. You work on your own stuff. Um, so let's take a look at the different machines that you have in here. Okay, so this is our 